Hi, I'm Stu, and welcome to another Luma Fusion video tutorial. We've had the ability to create and export GIFs or GIFs, depending on which way you like to pronounce it. But the one problem you guys seem to be having with GIF generation is a phenomenon called GIF bloat. So in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you my top tips for creating GIFs that have a small file size, but don't compromise on quality. Let's get started. It's not often we start off in the projects panel, but here we are. Tap on the plus, give your project a name. I will just literally call this GIF. Tap done. Frame rate can be whatever your video clip is. Aspect ratio, this is where you want to set this to square. Reason being for this is that it gives you the flexibility of being able to use this particular GIF animation across multiple social media platforms. Color space, just obviously set that to rec 7 or 9, tap plus, and we're kind of good to go. We need to obviously get a clip onto the timeline, so I've got a little video clip here. When it comes to GIF generation, you want to keep the video clip as short as possible. The maximum I would push it to is around about 4 seconds, and then allow the GIF to loop. I would reduce the actual length of the clip, so 3 seconds in this case. So I'm going to make a cut, get rid of the back end. And here's our basic clip. Then after that, unless you've got other graphics you want to bring in, you are just about ready to export. Now, when it comes to actually choosing a clip, I should say that you want to have a locked off shot where possible. So as you'll see from this one, even though there's movement in the shot, it's a locked off static shot. There's no actual camera movement. So we're sort of minimizing that file size. We're then going to go to the export tab, share and export, GIF animation, we'll drop it into photos. Now, resolution. If you're exporting a preview of a video, then I recommend taking up to as high as 720 by 720. Anything beyond that is just GIF bloat, way too much information. Frame rate, well, you're not going to keep it at 24 frames a second or 25. You're going to want to actually bring it in at 12 frames. So we're going to effectively drop every other frame. And it's what animators call animating on twos. Export duration 3 seconds. That brings us down to just about 7.4, 7.5 seconds for the actual file size, which will load up pretty fast. So we tap on export. Let it do its thing. Go into our photos. And you'll see there's the GIF. And it doesn't look half bad. Hope you've enjoyed the video tutorial today. And I will catch you on the next one. See you later.